Today's color code is CSP185. You know what it is, let's get cracking. No, we're not cracking walnuts, we're cracking wall color codes. And the name of today's color code is Plaster of Paris by Benjamin Moore. It's finally here! One of the hot new neutral colors that came out alongside Benjamin Moore's Color Stories palette. And strangely enough, it's one of the only color names that has a trademark attached to it. There's a couple others, but not many. There's a product by DAP called Plaster of Paris that is essentially spackle that you would use to repair walls. But if you read this color's description on the Benjamin Moore website, it's clear that it's supposed to represent the building materials used in heated gypsum, which was a material that was mainly cultivated in Paris, historically speaking. If you don't know me, I'm James from thepaintpeople.com, which is a website fully dedicated to the world of painting and decorating. We provide information on the materials required to get the job done and the colors that can completely transform a house into a home. If you're a part of this world, then be a paint person like us and hit that subscribe button because it doesn't cost you nothing. Blaster of Paris has an LRV of 74.86, which means it reflects nearly 75% of the light that hits it. And what makes it unique is the fact that it's composed of six different tints. That means there's six separate colorants that make up this color. And what's even more interesting is none of those colorants are gray or black. That means Benjamin Moore has taken a bit of yellow, a bit of red, maybe a bit of green and brown, and mixed it all together to give you a surprisingly nuanced approach to beige. When a color is made up of so many different components, it tends to take on a chameleon-like quality where it's more volatile in how it reacts to light. When a similar color is made up of maybe yellow and gray, for example, its behavior is going to be more predictable. Give it a bit more warm light and it's going to look more beige or put it in a darker room with less natural light and you might see some green cast come through. Plaster of Paris takes on all different forms, but each one of them are extremely subtle. It's still in the lighter range of colors that are not too noticeable in the grand scheme of things. It has a similar level of depth to the classic grays and silver satins of the world. And the Benjamin Moore website even classifies this as a powdery white, reminiscent of a classic statue. It's not going to be stark white, so don't pick it thinking it's the new go-to trim color, but more on that later. <laughs> Where should you use it? You would think this would be a pretty easy choice as a main color because of its neutral aspect. And the thing is, you'd be absolutely correct. While some people might be a bit apprehensive because of that little chameleon quality I mentioned earlier, that doesn't mean Plaster of Paris is going to change on your walls like a mood ring. Ultimately, it'll function as a neutral warm grayish that perhaps favors yellow warmth a little more than classic gray, for example. I feel like I always use classic gray as a pretty solid litmus test to compare other light neutrals to, mainly because I tend to use it so often. It's right around that light color slash dark off-white category that is just so easy to use. The thing is, even colors that are seemingly identical to the naked eye can subtly change the feel of a room depending on which undertone it favors. And that can change drastically from one room to the next. Feel free to try it in virtually any room in your home, but I wouldn't recommend it any more than I would something like Balboa Mist or Navajo White. Not quite as gray as Balboa and not quite as creamy as Navajo. What's a good trim color for it? You need to be careful with colors that are this light, especially if you want another off-white on your baseboards. I like to talk about my 10 LRV difference rule between your walls and your woodwork. By having a difference that noticeable, your woodwork will pop off your walls a bit more. Anything that's less than that will be a very subtle difference and could muddy the overall look a bit. The edges won't be as defined, but I usually say if you can't find something you like that's at least 10 points lighter, then the only solution is to go darker or maybe stick to something with a very similar LRV. A common tactic is to have the same color on your walls and your trim. For example, matte plaster of Paris for your walls and pearl plaster of Paris for your baseboards. If you wanted clearly white woodwork, there are options in simply white, super white, even Oxford white, any white you like. Just look it up on the company's website and make sure its LRV is 85 or above. 
for a darker trim color, you could go along the color chip that Plaster of Paris is on to some of the darker paired colors like Rocky Beach. But personally, I'm more of a fan of its interaction with a slightly taupey gray like Cosmopolitan. It doesn't rely as much on the brown in taupe, but more so on the gray aspect, which is gonna be a bit more unique on the trim. What are some fun color pairings for it? I'm really liking the CSP color Mythic, CSP 510. Again, we have a fairly typical darker accent color, but instead of going with a slate gray or a navy blue, we have this murky, dusty gray purple that still has a bit of taupe and red, which slots it in really nicely alongside Plaster of Paris. For a lighter accent color, let's head over to some more coastal colors in Silk and Blue, CSB 670. This is one of the easiest lighthearted mid-tone blues I've come across, with its blend of blue, gray, green. The name really makes sense to me because of how it feels. Plaster of Paris does a phenomenal job at allowing it to stand out without getting lost in the shuffle. That's one of the nice things about new neutrals, is that they're fundamentally safe, but they're not really going to be like anything that we're accustomed to as color connoisseurs. And yes, you are a connoisseur as well. <laughs> Can you compare it to other colors? By definition, it's hard to find really close matches because Plaster Paris just has so many different colorants compared to other colors. French Canvas comes close, which is another Benjamin Moore color, but I'll say it's a bit more prominent with a green color cast, and that's largely because it's most likely composed of gray colorant, which can have a tendency to greenify certain neutrals. And if greenify isn't a word, it is now. <laughs> what about the other color I mentioned before, Classic Gray? Well, their LRVs are extremely close, but Classic Grey will give you a little more of grey, funny enough. Plaster Paris is a little more beige and less taupe, but between those two colors, they're mega handy to use in those areas that you just need something that'll work. One of our very first episodes of Color Code was about Classic Grey, which you can check out right over here if you want some more details on it. And if you enjoyed this episode, then you can support us by hitting that like button and suggesting a future episode for us, because you know us, we just can't stop creating the color content you crave. See you on the next one.